Tuesday schoolers, Mr. Tim here. I'm so glad to have you guys joining me. Um, I am actually doing this one from a little different location. Uh, I came up to Indianapolis for the week, so I'm doing this from my, uh, from my parents' area up in Indianapolis. But it is so good to have you guys. I'm excited. This week, we're going to talk about a very important lesson. And we're going to talk about how important it is to forgive each other. Do you know what it means to forgive? You see, if you forgive someone, it means that someone has done something that made you upset or mad or, or angry or, or sad. And they do those things and they say, I'm sorry. And you accept that apology. You say, okay, I understand. And it's, a, it's when we overcome that anger or sadness. And that's what it means to forgive. Have you ever had anyone that made you upset? Anyone that made you sad or angry? What about brother or sister? Or maybe maybe a friend of yours and they wanted a toy you had and they may have taken it from you and you got very upset about it, right? Well, today we're going to talk about that. Let's go and let's start off though with some worship and then we'll come back. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven. On roller skates. On Oh, you can't get to heaven on roller skates. Oh, you can't get to heaven on roller skates. You roll right past those pearly gates. All my sins are washed away. I've been redeemed. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven in a limousine. In a limousine. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven in a limousine. children all the children in the world and we're going to sing a song about that called Jesus loves the little children Jesus loves the little children 
children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and gray, they are precious when they pray. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and pink, they are precious when they stink. Jesus loves the little children of the world. He's got the whole in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got itty bitty babies in his hands he's got itty bitty babies in his hands he's got the itty bitty babies in his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mommies and daddies. In his hands, he's got the mommies and daddies. In his hands, he's got the mommies and daddies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. In the Bible, Jesus is talking to his friends. And one of his friends, Peter, says, Jesus, who should we forgive? How often should we forgive? And so Jesus tells Peter of a king. And he tells him this story of this king. And he says there's a very wealthy king. And this king used to give a lot of his stuff to other people. And he said, you can borrow this or you can borrow that. Borrow that. And so all these people would have things that the king borrowed. One day the king decided he was going to have all that come back to him. He was going to ask people for his stuff back. And he had, he had given one guy a lot of money to borrow. And he called him up and he says, you owe me a lot of money. And the man said, I don't have the money to pay. I don't have any money to give you. And so the king got mad. He said, how do you not have the money I gave you? And so the king says, I want him to be arrested and thrown in jail because he can't pay me back what I gave him. And this man didn't have the money and so he got a little scared, right? Maybe a lot like you or me, we might get scared. And this man drops to his knees and it says he falls to his knees and he starts begging the king, please, please forgive me. And the king sees him and he feels bad for the guy. He says, okay, I will forgive you. You do not know me anything. You see, this man had owed him a lot and he said, I forgive you. You don't have to pay me back. And this man was really happy about that. And the king was happy that he could help this man. And this man leaves, and as he leaves, this man sees a friend of his who he let borrow something. And this man went to that guy, and he said, I want you to pay me back what you owe me. And when that guy couldn't pay, he dropped to his knees and said, please, I don't have the money. That man had that guy thrown in jail. He didn't forgive him like the king had. And Jesus said, the king found out about this and became upset. And he called that man and he said, I forgave you this huge debt, this huge amount of money. And you didn't go and forgive this man his little debt, this little amount of money. And the king was very upset with that. In your life, there's going to be times when you make people upset. Or where you do things you shouldn't do. 
I know there's times I, I do stuff I shouldn't do and people get mad at me. And if I don't forgive them when they make me mad, they're not going to forgive me when I make them mad. So it's important that with our friends and our family that we learn to forgive. Why don't you go and ask your, your, the person with you, whether it's your mom or your dad or your grandma or grandpa or babysitter, whoever you're with right now, why don't you ask them a time when they've been forgiven about something? And maybe they can help you think of a time when you forgave or when you've been forgiven. I'd love to hear those stories if you want to share them with me. I'd love to hear about, about you forgiving others because that's what we should do. We should forgive others. We're doing letters with Lori. Yeah, letters with Lori. Tuesday Schoolers, I am so excited to be back with you again this week to teach you a new letter. Our letter for this week is the letter D. Now you're going to need some digging paws like a dog and I'm going to teach you how to say the letter D. And it goes like this. D says D. D says D. Dogs like to dig. We have three words that begin with the sound of the letter D. And they are dog and duck and deer. Again, we have another Tuesday schooler whose name begins with the letter D and it is Davis. We're so glad that he is here today. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is I am going to teach you how to write the letter D. I'm going to give you just a moment to go get some shaving cream and a pan to put it in. All right, boys and girls, let's learn how to make the letter D today. We're going to do it in a really fun way. The first thing you're going to need is some shaving cream and you're going to need a cookie pan. Okay, what we're going to do is put a small amount right in the middle. You don't need a whole lot. Just enough to make a few layers, just a little speck like that. Okay, now that you have your speck of shaving cream, we're going to take our hand and we're going to spread it out like this. Doesn't have to go too far, but a nice little circle will be fine. Okay, let's begin, and it's okay if your hands are shaving, have shaving cream all over them. Let's go ahead and start with the capital D, and the way you do that is you start the top of your pan, and you make a straight line down. Then pick up your finger, go back to the top, and make a fat belly on it that goes down to the bottom, and that is a capital D. Here comes the fun part. Now you get to erase it. Just pick your hand and wipe over it and it's gone. Let's do it one more time. Start at the top, make a straight line down, then go back to the top and make a fat belly but down to the bottom. And that is your capital D. Now let's move on to the lowercase d. Erase. And you're going to start towards the bottom, right in the middle, and you're going to make a circle. Pick up your finger and go to the top and make a line come straight down to touch your circle on this side. That is a lowercase d. Then you can erase and start again. And you make a circle. Pick your finger up, go to the top, and come down with a straight line on this side of the circle, and that is a lowercase d. You can do this as much as you want and practice today, making capital Ds and lowercase d. Hope you have lots of fun. Talk to you next week. We're doing letters with Lori. Yeah, letters. With 
You know, last week I asked you guys to send me pictures of you with your friends, and I got a few of those, and they were incredible. I'm so happy that you guys have friends, and it just so happens that some of you guys were friends, and you got together, and you do Tuesday school together, and that's awesome. But here's a video, or here's a little, here's some pictures of you all with your best friends. Hey Tuesday Schoolers, Mr. Tim here and it's time for crafts. If you will, pull out of your bag this bag and it will have an orange square in it. And it'll say week 8, 3 9, 21. And that's our craft today. It's going to be a picture frame. Inside that you'll want to pull out the instructions right here. And this will tell you how to do it. For the most part, this is just stickers. So you'll take your orange part of the frame here and you'll take these stickers, you'll peel off the back and you'll stick it to this frame and then you can use glue to put a picture right here in the center and you can send me a beautiful picture of yourself in the picture frame. I'd love to see those things. Make sure that someone takes a picture and sends those in. I can't wait to see them all.